This is just rubbish science. It's done to appease a very powerful lobby group. And it's all about money. It's all about farmers wanting to offset the costs of intensive cattle farming. And that's what causes TB. So if you want to stop TB, stop killing badgers and just put quarantine legislation in and stop subsidising farmers who are doing really bad things to their cows. But the fact remains that TB is rife in badgers. Um, it may not have the obvious effects as far as welfare concerned in badgers, but badgers do get sick with TB ultimately. There's a vast uh, perceived increase in the badger population in these particular areas. Um, and as I say, it is illogical that you would not proceed to try to control the infection in badgers as well as in cattle. This is just conjecture. So if cows want to, if you want to save the British cow herd, you need to stop the transmission of TB from cow to cow. And that means strict quarantine measures and biosecurity. Our considered view is that if, it's, if the culling is uh, performed effectively, humanely, and safely, then there should be a positive effect. As far as cattle infection is concerned, not immediately, we're looking at a slow disease, we're looking at a long-term result. We're not gonna get answers tomorrow. Combining that with other aspects of um, wildlife uh, control, um, vaccination may well have a role as far as badges are concerned. Um, but the whole lot is one, is a, is, a, is a range of tools in the toolbox and we need to be using all those tools.